Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I was a bit stuck on what to do for a video next. I don't know why, I just, I had a blank, of, I had no clue what to do. So I asked one of my friends, Jessica, and she kindly suggested that I do a makeup through the decades. And she gave me a few of the decades she wanted me to do. So I will go through and do 60s, 80s, 90s and 2000s. Um, and if there's anything else you want me to do, any other decades, then let me know and I will try my utmost best to recreate them. Um, if you have any particular looks as well you want me to do from a particular decade I can try my best to recreate. Um, but today I'm doing the 60s and I've got my phone ready and waiting with a picture of uh, Twiggy <laughs> for my reference photo. I will just pop like a, I don't know, an image up somewhere around here of what I'm going to attempt to make and whether it will look like that or not I'll, we'll find out. We'll find out when we get to it if it'll actually look like that. But so just headband on, ready and waiting for the makeup. So I'm going to use some different products today only because 60s they had like a bit more of a natural base. It wasn't as full coverage. It wasn't like well, in the photo I'm using especially, it's, it's not very full coverage. You can see like her freckles or it's just like a light concealing. Um, but if I conceal my face, it will all be concealed. So I'm going to put a bit of foundation on, but just to like even out my skin tone. Because Twiggy's is very even. <laughs> um, so I'm going in with the Barry M Flawless Primer. Um, I love this one. This is a really good drugstore. Um, primer. It's it does a really good job at keeping your makeup on all day underneath. And it's I bought the um, it's a non-greasy one, which is great for my skin, considering it gets ridiculously greasy, ridiculously easy. Um, so. Yep, yeah, there's that. And going in with the eyebrows. Now, in the picture, Twiggy had very natural brows. They weren't thick, they weren't dark, and mine are already quite dark. So I am just going to lightly and lightly, very lightly, fill in the eyebrows. Just lightly. Just so there's not so sparse in certain areas. And then we're going on with the foundation. So today I'm going with one of my slightly less full coverage foundations. But I'm also going to mix it in with um, some moisturiser just to make sure it's just... This is what I used to do in the summer as like a not very heavy foundation. So I use the MAX Studio Fix Fluid um, Foundation. And then I use the strobe cream as well, just to give a little bit of a glow and to like um, make the foundation a bit lighter. It is still quite full coverage-ish, but it's not cakey or it's just quite a nice light something to wear, which I really like. So I'll just mix that in, just put a, one pump of the foundation on and then just like a blob of the um, moisturiser and just mix it in until it looks like a little cream and then get the foundation brush I'm again using the Jack Wills um, brush I have that I got on a multi set and just brush that out and as you can see it's not as full coverage as the Charlotte Tilbury but it still evens out the skin tone and is just a lot lighter coverage wise which is perfect i also find this foundation in the summer just really nice and moisturizing with the strobe cream underneath i just feel like it acts more of a bb cream then a homemade bb cream um than it does you know, a full coverage foundation, and I just love the way it sits and feels on my skin. 
Especially when like, we had those heat waves over lockdown. Now that that's all on, I am now going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm just going to go around my brows a bit because even though her eyebrows are quite natural, they are still quite defined as they've been concealed. And then I'm also going to just go under my eyes and over any acne that I have just to... Conceal that. Again, like I said before, a little goes a long way with the concealer. Just don't go too heavy, especially with this, as we've got quite a natural like coverage base. We don't want to go too heavy with the concealer. So now I'm just going to setting spray up my face, like always, with the airbrush flawless setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury like that and just let it dry again now once that's set I am again going to go in with the flawless um, finish face powder by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just going to tap that all over my face because her makeup is quite matte now I'm going to go into the eyes and the eye look that Twiggy had is sort of like a brown shadow over the crease of her eye and then there's a like a pale baby almost blue over the lids with a black eyeliner over the bottom over the top lid um, with quite a lot of mascara. So I'm just going to use, I've got three aqua um, eyeshadows here by Suva. There's the white, it looks a bit pink in the lid because I like to mix my other colours that I uh, make out of these in the lid. So we've got Space Panda which is white, we've got Tracksuit which is blue and then we've got Grease which is the black one. Um, I'm going to mix the white and the blue together just to make the, the pale blue liner and then I'll go in with the black as well. So first I'm using my Revolution black eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to go over my top and my top, my top eyelid with this so I'll be back. Now I've done that I like to do the um, top eyelids first because as you can see my eyes water a lot when I do this um, I don't do it often so that's, that's why my eyelids my eyes water quite a eyelids <laughs> I can't think um, my eyes water quite a lot so I thought get that out of the way before anything else because I don't, I don't want to have to have pastel blue water running down my eyes. So next I'm going to go in with the eyeshadows and I'm using the shade Chocolate Wasted which is that dark brown out of my Too Faced eyeshadow palette that I got in a set. Um, and I'm just going to use my Naked eyeshadow brush that I got in my Cherry palette and I'm just going to Create, I'm going to use the small end first and create just the outline of where the shadow is going to go. And now that I've got the outside laid on, I'm just going to top it up with a little brush because it's not too blended out the brown. It is quite concentrated into one area so I'm just going to keep topping it up until it's quite dark um, with the smaller brush. So now that I've done that, it does look a bit stupid but you know I was prepared to look stupid for this video I was already prepared for that so now I'm just going to go in with the blue and the white eyeliner and I'm just going to mix them into a pastel blue pastel sky blue so I've just mixed up this like tealish blue colour and I'm just going to create a dome all over my lid with this colour so now I've done the blue and I've just winged it off a bit because I couldn't see what 
um, was going on or behind the lashes on her other one so I just sort of tapered it off and just because it is a bit tacky the colour because it's a uh, water based eyeliner I've got this little pastel blue eyeshadow colour and I'm just going to go in and tap a light covering of that over the blue just to sort of set it just like that and now I'm just going to recreate that on the other side now because it's a bit messy at the top I'm just going to go in with some concealer and I'm just going to brush along where the eyeshadow was just to neaten it up a little bit so it doesn't look as messy just like that so now that's all cleaned up I'm going to go in with the black eyeliner and she sort of just did a straight black eyeliner across the eyelids so I'll be doing that next it's just quite a thin line as well of eyeliner it's not too thick so it doesn't take away from the wonderful looking blue I have on my eyelids right now so I'm just going to create a thin line across my waterline just to add more definition to the lash line there we are just like that and I'll just do that on the other eye only a light line she has i know i saw in the photo she did have some fake eyelashes on the top which is great because i can't live without some fake eyelashes but the bottom eyelashes had a lot and i mean a lot of mascara on the lashes were clumping together so i'm just going to curl my lashes now i'm just going to go with my Too faced better than sex mascara and oh over my lids like that careful as well not to get this on the blue so it's such a pale colour it will show up everything so and then just go mental on the bottom lashes because you know she had a lot see I wasn't too keen on the eye look now that I've added mascara it's it's getting there, it's getting there to the point where I might wear this and I say might we'll see how it goes we'll see, we'll see and because like always you can't, I can't do mascara out making a mess I've got some on my bottom lash line great love to see it but I'm just going to go back on the bottom of my lid and top some up and then get rid of this mascara under my eye because didn't have that when she did makeup. Um, let me just layer. There we are. All the layers are done, and now I'm gonna go fight with my fake eyelashes again. They're the same as last time. The Ardell lashes, the half wisp ones. So I'm just gonna go and place them on my eyelid as well. Or oh, eyelashes, not eyelid. They wouldn't look great on my eyelid. <laughs> It was not the best place to place your eyelashes. I mean, you could if you wanted to. They may look a bit peculiar. Just a tad. There we are. One lash on. We're getting there. We're getting there. You know what? Every time I film a video, lashes go on so easily. My eyes don't water. There's nothing wrong. It's just... They just go on. And they sit on fine. But every time I'm doing them off camera, and I'm like doing it for every day, my eyes just gush water and I'm just like, why? And I just struggle to get them on, like they're either too close into my eye, they're too far out of the other edge and I just can't get it right and then I'm just like, why? Why are you doing this? Why is it so hard to do it now but then before it wasn't? I think I might just start doing my makeup with the same setup as I do on my bed because it seems to always just go better when I'm sat here on my bed doing makeup than it does when I'm actually on a desk, which is peculiar, but I might, I might, I might, I'm tempted just to start doing it like this. But I say that, and I've jinxed it now, these eyelashes didn't sit properly. I jinxed it, which is great, but hopefully it doesn't take me 60 centuries this time to put this set on. 
usually does. There we are, so just brush them out with a little spoolie. There we are. Now with um, her everyday face makeup, she doesn't have much to it. She just has like a load of bronzer on, on the cheeks and then that's it. So I'm going to use my brush um, and I'm just going to grab a decent amount of the bronzer and just go in. I'm using my Too Faced bronzer um, from, well it's actually contour but from Charlotte, uh, from Too Faced, not Charlotte Tilbury, god I'm all over the place today and I'm just going to swirl some on my cheeks just to add some colour just like that and then I'm going to go in with my Revolution Pink Lip Gloss because she didn't really have much of a lipstick on she did just have like a tinted lip gloss on so just going to rub that all over my lips just like that and then she had her hair slick back so I'm just going to try and tame my mess of a French <laughs> and try and slick it back don't know how I'm going to I might just try and just brush it back hold on I'll be back once I've tried to figure out this mess there we are I've just wet my hair and it's somewhat stayed back so here is the finish look I hope you enjoyed and found this useful um again if there's any other like decades you want me to try out um or any specific makeup looks you want me to try out uh from different decades or different movies or anything like that just let me know and I will like today try my best to recreate them um I hope you really enjoyed and goodbye